Hey there guys, um, today I wanted to go over how to navigate through a 3D model. Um, you're probably familiar with how to navigate through the default 3D view. Uh, that's what we're in right now. If you use your middle mouse wheel, you can pan, shift, and your middle mouse wheel orbits. And then scrolling up and down zooms in and out. But what you'll notice is if you zoom in, it doesn't matter how far you zoom in, you will always be on the exterior of the building. You can't get inside um, in this view. So the way to do that is if you go to your view tab under 3D view, drop down menu, uh, click camera, and then <coughs> you can go to a 2D view and place that camera. Uh, in this case, it doesn't really matter where. and what it does is just creates a camera shot and if you wanted to just do a picture of the inside or uh, for a rendering or whatever then that's great um, but it crops the view here and so if you go to your properties so if you're wanting to uh, just navigate around your model to look around or to uh, show it to a, a client or whatever then you'll want to take that crop off so that you can see your whole model so if you go to properties uh, make sure you have nothing selected go to properties and uncheck the crop view and that opens it up just like your uh, default 3d view <clears throat> you can in fact even go outside um, and navigate around outside or you can zoom in kind of inside um, i'll show you uh, a couple ways to do it uh, Turn on realistic so we can see what's going on. Um, <clears throat> first, I'll show you the what I'd call the quick and dirty way of doing it. Um, it's just like navigating around in your uh, default 3D view. You just use the middle mouse wheel. You can pan and shift, and middle mouse wheel is all about zoom in and out, <clears throat> and that'll take you around your model. You can. Uh, kind of get where you need to go and stuff, but it's a little bit rougher. Um, the orbit kind of takes you backward, and so you have to pan around, and it's just kind of a rough way of doing it. So <clears throat> the easiest way to do it is to go to your navigation wheel. Uh, by default, this is set up to something else. I don't remember what it is now. Basic object or something like that. Click this drop down, then you can hit full navigation and then open up your um, navigation wheel. And at first, I, I thought this was, was kind of annoying. You have to go in and click all these things and uh, to get into here. But then, if you close it, you notice that down here it says press shift plus W uh, so to hide and uh, show the wheel. So if you hit shift W, then Shows and hides that, and it's just as quick as hitting your middle mouse wheel to move around pretty much. Um, so, I'll show you a few tools there. Um, you'll notice that it has orbit and pan <clears throat> and zoom, just like you did with your middle mouse wheel. But what it has in addition here is rewind, and then these four tools here in the middle. What rewind does is just uh, takes you back to previous of navigation um, where you were before. Um, the look tool is just to look around. You can look right, left, up, and down, and it always, but it always keeps you in the same spot. It, it won't move you around through the model. Uh, and same thing with the up and down. It'll just take you up and down through your model, um, but it always keeps you in the same spot. Um, horizontally, same spot on the floor. <clears throat> so if you're wanting to actually move around in your model, the best way to do it is with walk. <clears throat> and just by itself, uh, what it'll do is you look right and left, and then up and down is uh, moving. And so if you kind of move forward and then move to the right, it'll walk you that, it'll turn you around, keep you walking that way, um, and then back and uh, forward, right, 
from that. Anyway, um, that's pretty pretty straightforward. It takes practice to kind of get used to how it moves around. Um, one thing that um, kind of annoyed me when I first started using that using this was, okay, well, that's great, but I can't you know change fours or anything. Um, if I want to do that, then I'd have to pan and uh, move to the different floor and then walk around down there. But then I notice that as you when you move it, it pops up down here and says press down arrows uh, or uh, up down arrows to adjust height and then the plus key to speed up. Uh, for me, it ends up moving a lot faster than I expect a lot of times so I don't really use the plus key. But um, I guess with a, a big project then maybe you'd want to use that. Um, so I was going to show you with the up down arrows. Um, running a little bit slow but <clears throat> if you hold the up down arrows as you're moving then it will move you up and down the same speed that it's moving you forward um, so you can like go upstairs and then walk around come over here Again, up and down with the mouse always moves you forward and backward, and then the um, down arrow will take you down the stairs as you're going forward. And then, like I said, my computer's running slow, so it's kind of laggy. Um, anyway, so I'll 